So uh, the symptoms uh, that occur in ALS are variable. For example, uh, increased salivation is one uh, uh, common one. Uh, usually there is a number of uh, uh, drugs that we can use to decrease the salivation uh, that can result in choking episodes. Um, another one is cramps, uh, very commonly uh, spasms and uh, spas what we call spasticity uh, in patients who have um, what we call upper motor neuron symptoms, uh, which is one aspect of the disease. Uh, these are all things that we deal with uh, and, and use drugs to manage the symptoms. Uh, not only drugs, but also uh, physical therapy and occupational therapy has an important role in managing patients with those symptoms. Um, uh, from a breathing standpoint, it's very important to detect early on when the uh, muscles of the breathing get affected. A typical ALS patient uh, will start having respiratory decline before they even appreciate the symptoms are even there. It is our job in the clinic to have early detection of this because the research shows that early intervention with uh, uh, a machine that helps them to breathe can actually slow down the progression of the decline.